Archie Marathon goes on World Tour. <laughs> Got the Shinkansen this morning from Tokyo to Osaka. Galleries tend to close on Mondays. So I'm going to go out to three Tadaondo buildings in the outskirts of Osaka and see what happens. Pretty rustic area. The GPS is telling me to go through this little lane. Okay, here we go. It's full of these back lanes around here. They're really close to each other. Then there's a Tadaondo building right here. Well, it's sent me to the back entrance. The Shiba Ryotaro Memorial Museum. This approach is nicer. Although it's nice serendipity to see all that urban landscape. Here's the dreaded cash only problem in Japan. Strangely high tech backward place. And to get the ticket is actually out on a machine. And of course you had a dreaded sign. No photography. The closest thing is the 7-Eleven where I can withdraw some money. Kaching. Get me going. So that's the old house and there's a new addition. I do love how the ramp don't touch. And see the stained glass behind there? Well, it's not really stained glass. It's more like textured glass screen that obscures the view. You can see the timber work inside of the bookshelves. Well, that was a quick visit. It's really just one space and just absolutely remarkably sharp concrete. Now we're heading off to Sayamake. Museum, also by Tadaondo. I think all the stuff I'm seeing in Osaka area or Tadaondo. The oldest dam in Japan, 1,400 years old. Here it is. And the Tadaondo building is just over there somewhere. What an interesting entry sequence coming off this corner. So we're going from almost eye level here with this wall and we're just going down a ramp behind this wall. And behind this wall, there's a little Courtyard here, this guy playing tennis. I guess this element is a little bit like uh, going through a, a Tori gate or a portal. Huh. There's a little slit looking back to the guy playing tennis. This is it. And then it brings you along here, and then you see the famous water space. A few stairs to climb. So it looks like you've got a choice of walking along there outside the wall of water or inside the wall of water. So the wall is intentionally textured, still in concrete, but textured for the water to drip on. Coming out of there, got the courtyard, there's the tower part, one of the two towers, and the cylinder. That. And then, in true Ando fashion with the cylinder, there's a spiral ramp. So essentially he's taking you down those steps come through this experience and then come underneath and through and then back up again to basically the same level as you came in. Oh no, it's about middle. So after coming through, you have the old damn wall that was discovered. Yeah, you can see he really puts you right next to the different materials, in this case, earth, before that was water. And again, ramping down slowly and you know, going from this side into technically, I guess the building side and then you duck underneath the circulation. This is compression and then release again momentarily. And then we're under the other ramp there as well, keeping things separated. The cylinder, cylinder, the walls are walls. So you get these little moments. That's quite beautiful. And the way the light that washes in. So that cylinder is still doing its job, circulating people around internally. And here's a model explaining what's going on here. Sections, baby, sections. Look at that. Wowzers, what is this? Wow, that's an old dam infrastructure. Guess what, you get to go around it as expected. So you see we're in already in a kind of skinny space, but he's just made that extra skinny and tall. So you really get to feel that verticality as you move through that. 
Oh, yeah. It's another cylinder. But that's the base for the tower. You can see where the two geometries meet. They just meet directly on that line there. And Ando really uses a lot of timber to warm up the space or place off that cold concrete. It's kind of clever that he's treated like these bits as different. So you don't have to do an elbow. They just kind of go straight through and basically flush with each one where they finish. There are these little desks you can study. And that wall is slanted even. <laughs> that blind is actually draping down on the slant. And as you exit, you get that axial line of that canopy coming out. All right, I'm starving. I'm gonna go back to Osaka and get some food. Even the drain covers are off the building and the dam. Osaka. Everyone photographs that one. We're in Osaka. Cooler bar. What's on TV? Oh, it's baseball. I thought it was on cricket before. Cheers.